Hello, fourth graders. I'm here to share um, this really cool slideshow on simple machines. We were able to have uh, read a New Zella, New Zella article last week on simple machines, and today you read a New Zella article on complex machines combining simple machines together to make a com more complex machine. And now today we're going to look at those simple machines again. So what are machines? Most people think of complex technical or electronic gadgets with motors, but machines can be much simpler. A machine is any device that lets you do work in an easier or better way. Basically, simple machines make work easier, and I like work to be easier. How do machines do work? Well, machines make work easier by changing three things about the force you exert to do work. The amount of force you exert, the distance over which you exert force, and the direction in which you exert force. What are simple machines? There are only six basic simple machines that make work easier. The inclined plane, the wedge, the screw, the lever, the wheel and axle, and the pulley. Work and simple machines. Simple machines don't change the amount of work done. They change the size, distance, or direction of your force. Work in equals work out. Usually machines lose a bit of work due to friction. The incline plane. An incline plane is a flat, sloped surface. It connects a lower level to a higher level. You use less force over a longer distance to raise a load to a higher level. Input and output force. Here are some examples of inclined planes. We have ramps, boat ramps, wheelchair ramps, ladders, stairs. And then we have um, a lever. A lever is a bar that pivots or rotates on a point called a fulcrum. Levers may change the size, distance, or direction of the force. There's a first class lever, second class lever, and third class lever. We're looking at the um, effort that is changed, and you're looking at where the fulcrum is, where the pivot takes place, and you work at, look at where the load is placed, all um, makes a difference as to how much effort you put forth. Here are some examples of levers. We have first class levers, which are the scissors, seesaws, plowyers. We have those second class levers, which are staplers, nutcrackers, and wheelbarrows. And then we have those first or third class levers, which are shovels, baseball bats, and tweezers. Pulley. A pulley is a grooved wheel with a rope used to raise, lower, and move a load. Pulley systems change the direction and or decrease the input force so that you can move heavier loads. And if you look at the bottom examples, um, where the output force is and the input all makes a difference as where that pulley is um, and how much effort actually needs to take place to get the job done. And here are some examples. We have cranes raising a flag on a pole window blinds, raising a sail on a boat, and clotheslines. Wedge. A wedge has slanting slides that meet and an edge. It splits material apart. It changes force in one direction into a splitting force that acts as right angles to the blade. There's the input force, the top going down, and the output force is where it actually would split. Like the example would be like um, an axe chopping wood. And visualize that. And here's axe, knife, zippers used in all cutting machines to split materials apart. Wheel and axle. The wheel is locked to the central axle when one turns. So does the other one. A short, powerful force at the axle will move the wheel's edge a long distance. A long motion at edge of wheel moves the axle with great force. And there are two examples there. So 
Screwdriver, windmill, cars, bicycles, rolling pin, doorknob, and fan are all examples of a wheel and axle. Now the screw is another simple machine. A screw is a thread or groove wrapped around a central cylinder. While turning, it converts a twisting force into a forward or backward force. Output, input force. Here are some examples. Screws can hold screws can hold things together or lift materials. Screws, screw top lid, lids for jars, bottles, light bulb, swivel stools, and chairs. And here is the simple machine example. So if you're taking a look at that, what do you see? I see some wedges. Different examples. I see pulley. I see a screw. I see another pulley. Looking at the different, the fulcrum, some of the words that we heard today, the vocabulary words. So seeing any of those, you can actually just go through and touch. Now, this is what um, you had a New Zella article on today. Compound or complex machines are made when you combine the two or more simple machines. So we have the lever, the wheel, and axle, and the wedge. And that would be our pizza cutter. Um, we have our axe, which is a lever, has a lever and a wedge. The scissors has a lever, a fulcrum, lever, wedge. So that's the center point. Um, and then we have the corkscrew, which has a lever and a screw. And here are some more examples of compound machines with the simple machines used to make more than one to make them compound. Here are some other examples. It's like we're going to look at the world in a different way now. Okay. Machines make work easier by changing three things about the force. The amount of force, the distance of force, and the direction of force. Machines make work easier by changing three things. This is the amount of force. We use less force when we use the simple machine. A ramp lets you lift a heavy object with less force. We have the distance. Machines make work easier by changing three things. The distance of force. A baseball bat lets you move your arms a short distance, but move the end of the bat a large distance. The direction of the force. The pulley on the set of window blinds lets you move the blinds up with a downward pull. Okay. I hope you enjoyed our simple machines slideshow presentation. Um, I have a little activity that you can print out or you can just type on um, and just turn it in like you normally would all your other things. Um, just type it in and um, have fun doing it. Look around your home, look around for um, complex machines and break them apart and figure out what those simple machines are. Thank you. Have a good day.